right now in parts of the tri-state. Record rainfall flooded streets and left several drivers stranded today. Here's a look at Wilmer Road this afternoon. There is a lot of standing water near Lunkin Airport. And here's a look at just how strong these rains can be. In Newport, some cars were pushed off the roadways. And as you can see, people across the tri-state are still cleaning up from this batch of heavy rain. Not on your sides, TJ Parker shows us the cleanup effort taking place tonight. People who live here on 4th Street in Newport woke up to flooded homes and flooded basements. There are several of many in the tri-state working to dry things up. The aftermath of heavy rain takes a toll on area homes. Mark Ramler had six inches of rain in his basement. Nobody could have expected that much rain within an hour. In Claremont County, it it's wasn't nothing. only water just, that bubbled talking. up in David Fankhauser's yard. It was a sewer fountain because it was gushing up out of the uh, of the sewer. Water and sewage also got into his basement. He's lived on this property for close to 30 years and says this isn't the first time this has happened and he believes it won't be the last. For now though, he's focused on his current situation. I'd like it cleaned up. I would indeed. Now the good news in all of this, the people who we spoke with today say the cleanup costs won't be too much. In Newport, I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side. Well,